Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today's video is going to be a vlog of my very first New York Fashion Week experience. Just to give you guys a quick little recap of my day so far, we got up super, super early this morning to fly from Dallas to New York, and then we arrived at around 11.30 or noon. By the way, we are staying at the Wallace Hotel. It's in the Upper West Side of New York City. You can probably tell just by the way I like explain where it's at that I don't know the areas of New York at all. It's a beautiful hotel, it's brand new. Already, I'm just so impressed with like their customer service. Whenever I arrived in our room, they had a little floral arrangement put together on a little coffee table with a note, and it was so sweet what they said in the note. They were just welcoming me to my first fashion week, which is just like, that made my entire day. I was already kind of cranky and tired just because I literally didn't get any sleep last night, but that just like brightened my whole day. And I feel like it's little stuff like that that like hotels do that just makes you think like, yeah, this is all worth it. I'm definitely gonna reconsider booking with you guys next time I'm in New York. I unpacked all of my clothes, jewelry, shoes, everything, bags. Right now, I'm actually about to head out to my very first event of the week. I'm going to an event for Dior tonight, and I'm just so excited that I get to kick off my first fashion week in this way. I've been working with Dior for almost a year now, and I've never met anyone on like their influencer marketing team in person before. So I'm super stoked that I finally get to see everyone's beautiful faces in person tonight. I'm also super excited to show you guys all of my fits that I put together. Hopefully I somewhat understood the assignment. I'm not like a wardrobe stylist by any means. I feel like my style is pretty much whatever I can find online shopping and I just like copy the model. <laughs> online I don't know it's currently almost 4 30 and the Dior event is by appointment only and so I made an appointment for five o'clock so we're gonna head over there very very soon I just have to get dressed my hair and makeup is done and yeah I'm gonna go throw on my outfit and then I'll do a little fit check for you guys okay so this is the only full body mirror that I have in this hotel room so this is just gonna have to work for each of my fit checks but my entire outfit is from Revolve. My shoes, which don't fit me, are from Revolve. My little black handbag is from Revolve. It's all from Revolve. I just put my hair in this like half up, half down hairstyle. My hair is straight. Yeah, I feel really cute. I'm just worried about these shoes slipping off when I walk. But see, like, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna walk really slow and like with a purpose <laughs> so that they just don't slip off. We are about to be late, so let's go to the Dior event. I'm now showered and in bed, 
ready to go to sleep. We've had a really long travel day, so I'm exhausted. Today was really fun. I am so happy that I finally got to meet all of the people that I've worked with for a while now at Dior, and I was able to just finally go to an event for them and create some good content. Yeah, I had such a good time, but now the day is over and we have a little bit of a jam-packed day tomorrow, so that is why I'm straight to bed and just ready to go to sleep. I will see you guys in the morning. Currently getting ready to leave. I'm trying to look for water. I'm gonna go grab something to eat for breakfast and then I have a hair appointment at IGK Salon in Soho. They had reached out to me and wanted to give me like a blowout or whatever. So I'm gonna go get my hair done this morning. First order of business, dram it me in before I get in the car because these New York drivers are insane. Everyone just needs to chill. I've kind of put together this like go bag. This bag is from The Way. It's like their travel size kit, but I took out like the travel size bottles and filled it up with my own stuff to put in this backpack. I've got a Tide stick, hydration multipliers, granola bars, motion sickness medicine, hand cream, Listerine strips, gum, floss, a pen, hand sanitizer, extra contacts, tissues, literally anything that you can think of, I put in this bag. And then in the actual backpack, I have like deodorant, a small thing of perfume, baby wipes, makeup removers, masks, my headphones, some extra water. And most importantly, I have my slides with me. Almost every single one of my shoes that I'm wearing during fashion week, like with my fits are heels and they're all brand new. So I'm not trying to get uncomfy. I'm trying to take those shoes off as soon as I can when we get in the car. This is what I'm wearing today, just to the hair salon. I have this polo bear sweatshirt, my YSL sunnies. I have a claw clip. I can't remember where the claw clip was from. I think it came in like a PR package, but it's just like a plain black claw clip. This is a Skims tank. I love Skims tanks. And then I have these like flared out leggings that I've worn a million times from Aritzia. My cute little Birkenstock sandals. I love them so much. I got them from Revolve. And then I'm wearing some socks from Amazon. is secured the car is beeping because there's no plasticware in the bag with my food i'm like okay how am i supposed to eat this and so i was like asking the driver if he had a fork <laughs> and he was like no and he immediately pulls over and he's going to get a fork inside of a store he's like no problem i'll be back i'm like king you don't have to do that oh my god thank you so much i appreciate it got like a classic blowout super simple I love it okay guys so I'm back at the hotel now and I have my makeup on and I just got dressed we're gonna go over to this place called Dante I think is how you pronounce it and then we're gonna go to the Alice and Olivia fashion show this is gonna be my first fashion show that I get to go to I'm so excited we got like backstage access to go like see all the models getting ready and just like 
check out what's going on before the show. Then the show starts at five, but I'm not really sure if we can stay the whole time or just like even get a glimpse of the show because I have the Revolve Gallery and that starts at six getting ready. I have a makeup artist coming to do glam. Anyways, I'm not really sure if we're gonna stay the entire time, but we are definitely going to make it to the backstage behind the scenes. Now I'm gonna show you guys my outfit really quick. Okay, so I have this headband in. I'm pretty sure I got this from Walmart like two or three years ago. I've got these gold hoops in from Studs. My cute little purse is from Rent the Runway. It's just like a black and white handbag and it actually fits a lot. Super cute. This blazer is from Aritzia. I've worn it so many times. It's my go-to. This white tank top is also from Aritzia. This little black skirt is from Reformation. It has a little slit in there. Super cute. And then my little black loafers are from Prada. And I got the patent leather ones, so they're just like shinier than... I think a lot of people have like the matte black ones, I'm not really sure. And the socks that I have on, I got from Amazon. So yeah, that's the fit, and now we're gonna go to lunch. Okay, so we're back in the car now. We got done with the little backstage moment with Alice and Olivia. It was so nice meeting everybody. Moroccan oil was doing hair and Too Faced was doing makeup. So it was cool being able to see everybody just come together. And now we are driving over to an H&M store because someone is possibly in the front of H&M big old face so we are gonna go see that how do you feel I feel great I'm gonna make a video about it are you excited very very excited this is your second store debut first in New well probably not I don't know we'll see <laughs> and then after we get done checking out Aussie's photo at the store we're gonna go back to the hotel and start getting ready for the Revolve Gallery. I don't think we'll be able to make it to the Alice and Olivia show, like I said earlier, but I was really happy that I got to check out the whole backstage process and see how everything works behind the scenes. Awesome! <gasps> Look at you! Oh my gosh! <gasps> That's you! Hi guys, I'm now back at the hotel. I just took a quick body shower and took my makeup off. I also did a little bit of skin prep before the makeup artist arrives. Her name's Ashley, by the way. I don't wanna keep calling her the makeup artist. I'm so excited about going to the Revolve Gallery. This has been a goal of mine for a year now. I'm gonna just chill out and probably eat a snack and wait on Ashley to get here. Baby.
No, you're not even gonna believe. <laughs> that's you, man? No, that's you. No, that's you. That's you. No, I'm obsessed. Ashley, uh, thank you so much. I love you. I'm so thank happy we met. So much. And, you are and it like gives a nice little bronzy. Yeah, this is good. Okay, you guys, makeup is done for the Revolve Gallery. I did my own hair, I just did a little high pony. And I'm gonna show you guys my outfit before we leave because I'm, of course, running late. Just like the other day, the full outfit is from Revolve. These cute strappy black heels, they're like my go-to black strappy heels to wear. And then this dress, it's like, it looks black, I think, on camera, but it's got like a brown, bronzy shimmer. It goes up the neck a little bit and it's long sleeve, so nothing is super like revealing and I don't have to worry about anything popping out throughout the night. And then it has like this little drape added on, which I think is a nice touch to the dress. And I have this handbag. Actually, this is not from Revolve. This is Steve Madden. They sent this to me and I love it because it looks just like the Alexander Wang handbag that everyone knows and loves. And then for accessories, all I have are my studs hoops, and then of course my evil eye bracelet that I have on all day, every day. And yeah, that's the fit. I think it's super cute. Changed this up very last minute. Also, Ashley absolutely killed it on the makeup. I don't think my makeup's ever looked so good before. I mean, look at the eyes that she did. fun but damn are we tired the thing was huge there were so many different like display rooms it was so much fun i saw so many people that i've never met before but have been like internet friends with them for the longest time so that was really fun to be able to like see them and say hello and just finally be able to just like see them in person but i am exhausted to say the least so i'm gonna Hop in the shower, take my makeup off. Unfortunately, take my makeup off. 
my makeup looks way too good to take off right now for that i'm just gonna go to bed i'm so tired i can't even do like a proper outro for day two of new york fashion week but anyways good night i'll see you guys in the morning I got breakfast this morning and just kind of hung out at the hotel and got some work done for sponsorships and whatnot, answering emails. So today really was not very eventful and tomorrow morning we're going back home. I'm actually about to pack up my bags. Y'all, this was literally me last night. Roll the clip. I fell asleep watching TikToks. I was so beat from literally two days of fashion week. Like I didn't even do a full week of fashion week, just two days and that was me. Like I am so exhausted and drained and for what? For what? Overall, my first fashion week or like couple days of fashion week was really successful i feel like i took a lot of notes i literally have like a whole thing on my notes app of things to know for next time just because this really is just like a whole thing i feel like maybe i should make a video on that like next season or next year on like everything that you should know if you're going to fashion week for the first time i don't know i just feel like something like that would be so helpful yeah like i said overall i had such an amazing time i'm so so grateful for all of the brands that had reached out and invited me to events and whatnot. Anyways, I don't wanna drag this outro out for too much longer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. You guys already know what to do. And make sure to talk to me in the comments. I love when you guys talk to me in the comments. Let me know if you went to Fashion Week. I would love to know your experience. Let me know if you would like to go to Fashion Week. I would love to hear about all of your goals and dreams and aspirations and whatnot. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.